The National Urban League brings its Save Our Cities National Conference to Baltimore. Pat Warren reports the decision to bring the conference here is a direct result of the unrest in Baltimore last year. Baltimore's worst moments. And the National Guard has been deployed. There are homes that are on fire behind this structure. City leaders expressing a range of emotions from anger to disappointment to embarrassment. And too many people have spent generations building up this city. Now the Civil Rights and Economic Empowerment Urban League is holding its convention here at the request of the mayor. And without missing a beat, she said, I will not accept no for an answer. Today, the mayor had a hand in assembling back to school backpacks for Saturday's Community and Family Day at the convention. I think it's a perfect time for them to be here. The Urban League expects more than 10,000 people to attend this convention, filling 6,000 hotel rooms and an overall economic impact of 10 million to 15 million dollars. Let's talk about the trouble we had in Baltimore last year. Did that discourage you in any way from having the convention here? No, it encouraged us to have have the convention here because because of our mission and because of our work uh, we want to be where challenges are challenges not unique to Baltimore whether it's job creation workforce development criminal justice issues police community relations all of these things uh, we will be able to discuss on and, and have it uh, the national stage here in Baltimore. One session will focus directly on Freddie Gray. The conference opens tonight at Shiloh Baptist Church with a keynote address on race and economic equity. Shiloh is the scene of Freddie Gray's funeral. I'm Pat Warren reporting. Now back to you. And Democratic vice presidential candidate Tim Kaine will speak tomorrow. Both Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump were invited and both declined.